I just loved kitchens from the 1940s and 50s. Appliances were like works of art. I recently ran across this beauty. I was so intrigued I had to do some research. This gas stove is a fully restored O'Keefe and Merritt model 850G from 1950. It features four burners, a griddle, two window ovens, and two boilers. The O'Keefe and Merritt Company has been called the Cadillac of the West Coast built stoves. With model names like Aristocrat and Estate, this company was in a league of their own. They were known for their features to make cooking and baking a pleasure, such as being ergonomically designed, offering the cool control panel. It offered a slight tilt to the front panel where the stove dials were located. This made cooking not only easier, but even pleasant. They advertised their ranges were chock-a-block with added conveniences. You have never known the ease, the fun it is to cook, unless you've cooked on a new O'Keefe and Merritt range. They were packed full of added features, time-saving conveniences that make cooking easier and better. Beautiful and durable enamel and chrome finish. Minute minder and measured time clocks to turn on and off burners and oven. Electric appliance plugs. A condiment set. Round, non-clogged burners. Extra large cooking top with griddle. Robert Shaw precision and safety control system. Crumb trays under burners and griddle. Two high view glass front oven doors with a fully insulated oven. Non tip oven racks. Tip door lighting. Two broiler ovens. A three position vanishing shelf cover. The spacious, sturdy workspace that instantly folds away or forms a handsome cover over the burners for extra surface space when the burners are not in use. O'Keefe and Merritt Appliance Company began operations in Los Angeles, California in 1920. Their gas ranges and standalone ovens were particularly popular in Southern California in the middle of the 20th century. They produced over 500 stoves a day. Some of the large stoves, like the Aristocrat model, featured three ovens and two broilers and weighed nearly 750 pounds. Because they were producing so many stoves, they built their own steel mill in 1946, producing 50 tons of steel a year. Pre-World War II, the American mindset for building anything, from automobiles to appliances, was to build it to last. American manufacturers used to take a tremendous amount of pride in their products. Dependability was the name of the game. Unfortunately, this mindset did not last. American companies continued to make solid and high-quality goods until the mid-50s. As the country recovered from World War II and the Depression, Americans were again flush with purchasing power. 
they had money, and the demand for appliances was high. Mass production caused manufacturers to look at ways to cut corners to be more productive and more profitable. This caused a drop in overall quality. Prior to 1959, appliances were built with component parts that could be rebuilt and reused. This meant that a perfectly workable stove or fridge with a single faulty part could always be repaired. Even if the appliance and its parts were no longer in production from the original manufacturer, a repairman could fix the existing part. This was by design, an example of the long-lost American commitment to quality and durability. Between 1959 and 1961, manufacturers shifted to building appliances with replacement parts instead of repair. This was good in some ways, but once a manufacturer decided to stop making a part, an appliance became unrepairable. Basically, any stove or refrigerator built before 1960 can be rebuilt and reused almost indefinitely. Beautiful stoves like this are like classic cars. They appreciate in value and last many lifetimes. I hope you enjoyed learning about the O'Keefe and Merritt Stove Company. I'm Luann Trotaba and it was my pleasure to bring you this short video. If you enjoy historical subjects and travel videos, please subscribe and I'll see you next time here on Another Vintage Day.